Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am on a fragrance tear. I wanted to revisit this Ohm Noir fragrance by John Mark Paris. And I want to give this one a bump up. This is probably going to be, I don't know, tied with Joe from Walmart. I, and I would say this is actually going to be, this is going to top that one. Um, I would say Joe from Walmart, from Walmart, from Walmart is good because you can find it everywhere and it's si similar to Aqua de Joe. I'm just blown away at how well they cloned that fragrance. And I've been, I've been knowing about that since 07. So, I mean, that thing's been going strong and that's kind of why, why I gave it like the greatest cheapie of all time. But I have to say, like, if you were looking for one bottle of cologne, that you could find cheaply and that you can find consistently and that you would get, you know, a ton of compliments out of and that you can wear year round, I would say is this Homme Noir. I mean, I have seen this in Burlington. I've seen this in TJ Maxx. I've seen this. I don't know if I've seen it in Ross, but I've definitely seen it in Marshalls. Pretty much every rack store you can imagine, I've seen this fragrance in. In town, out of town, I've seen this on the East Coast. I've seen this in the Midwest. Um, this thing is everywhere. And it it smells really, really good. It's kind of a smooth, sweet smell. Um, and when it dries down, you know, it smells a little bit more playful. Um, I would say this is a middleweight fragrance. But just based on, like, availability and the way it smells, like... I, this is like one of the cheapest cheapies. Like you can find this bottle for probably, usually when you're seeing English Laundry for $16.99, you're seeing these for $15, $14.99, you can find this for $12.99. And that's not a, I know that's not a steep discount, but this is like a super cheap fragrance that performs well, in my opinion. You can get five hours out of this fragrance and this would smell good on a multitude of body chemistries. Um, you know, it's not something that you have not smelled before, but it smells really, really good. And I've gotten compliments from a ton of different people. To me, it's not like a basic sweet fragrance that you would find. I mean, you're not going to confuse this with Axe. It has a depth and a richness to it that exceed its price versus being like this super wildly successful clone of a wildly successful fragrance. But I mean, just based on availability and smell, I mean, honestly, I would give this smell an eight out of 10. Like it's not groundbreaking, but it's super consistent. And I love smells where I get compliments from, you know, different types of people. I, you know, some, some colognes you can wear in certain cultures or certain work environments are gonna be conducive to compliments with it. But I, I was like super busy one day at work and I was like running in and out of the heat. And um, I had to meet this lady in this town home. And uh, I was in there just signing some paperwork with her. And she was like, you smell good. And this is like, I mean, I, you know, this is like four hours in. And I was like, really? I was just running around so much. And I was kind of standing back from her because I felt sweaty. And when she said that, like, I kind of, I was like, okay, like, this is a winner. And I've noticed, like, Lately, I've been working in a conference room with others. Like, you smell really good. This is going to project, like, a middling amount. It's not, like, going to be a projection beast. And you really don't need to overspray this. You can give yourself six sprays and kind of rock with it. And then I would say, like, reapply after five hours. This, this is a Frugere Woody fragrance. The top notes are bergamot, grapefruit, cardamom. Off the top, it smells good you know, and midlife it smells good, and then in the dry down it smells good. And it doesn't change its character that much in those three phases. You know, uh, it's, it pretty much smells the same. And that's another thing. A lot of fragrances, you'll like the top notes or you'll like the smell overall, but there's one part that really kind of stands out and smells three times as good as the other two parts. And this fragrance, it's just so well-rounded. The mid notes are lavender, honey, orange blossom, and musk. Guys, like, 
honey, lavender, orange blossom, and, uh, excuse me, honey, lavender, and then orange blossom musk. I mean, I think that is really what gives this fragrance the knockout. Like, the honey with the orange blossom musk and that lavender, I mean, those things really, really hit. Those are really, really good, a good set of notes that go together. And then the dry down is sweet tobacco, tonka bean, and moss. Um, so, I mean, I need to get another bottle of this. The next time I buy it, I'm just gonna get like a- Some sort of 200 mil, uh, milliliter bottle. But again, I'll just, you know, reiterate what I said when I start off. If you were to buy one cheapy fragrance that you wanted to have, that you could get readily, you know, and not have to worry about going on a hunt for, it would be this fragrance. Um, and I would say this best, the, um, you know, Joe, just because this smells consistent throughout its life cycle and then you reapply it and the fun don't stop. And all of those notes, I mean, none of those notes are bad notes. Like 75% of these notes are some of my favorite notes, um, you know, aside blackberry and rose. Um, and they all go well together. I think some fragrances you find, they have a ton of notes that you like, but they don't go well together. Or they do smell good, but again, you know, you're like, man, I really love the top end of a fragrance. And so you kind of overspray for that. And then by the time you get out of your car, you're totally out of that and you're left with the sillage of something you kind of like. And then it dries down to something you're okay with. And this thing, like, you're going to love it all the way through. So I highly recommend it. That's why I made a second video. You know, take it with a grain of salt or just buy it because it's cheap and try it out. I mean, you'll love it.